Hello, hello. Welcome back. How are you? Ready for action. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Yes, I'm ready for action. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh, who can tell me what uh, information or what vocabulary, what discussions, what grammar, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What can you tell me? The use of often, 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 and a short answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, simple past, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Uh, can you give me uh, an example of a verb in the simple past? Mm. Good. For, for God. For God, for God, mm -hmm. okay. Another one? Uh, cook. When. Uh, cook. Cooking. When. Mm -hmm. When. Okay. Sans. Sans. Huh? No. Sans. Sans. The pass of sing. Sang. 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 Okay. Sang, sang. 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 Sing, sang. Sing, sang. Mm -hmm. Another example? I sing a song. I sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> Another example? I sang a song in past. I sang a song. Very good. Very good. All right. And um, what topics do you remember from the previous class? What topics? Um, exercise. Uh, how often? How often? Uh, what did you do last weekend? Exercise. What did you do last weekend? Okay. That's correct, right? We were looking at a conversation. Mm -hmm. And the topic of the conversation was, uh, it, uh, did, did you did do anything? You, mm -hmm. Did you do anything? Mm -hmm. um, difference, how well, how good? How well and how good, okay. I would like for us to look at this uh, conversation right here. Uh, the conversation is referring to this topic. Uh, did you do anything? Can I have two volunteers, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Dalia Santos and Roxana Amaya. Dalia Santos, <laughs> you're going to be Rick and Roxana Amaya, you are going to be Meg. Okay. okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Mm, no, uh, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and I started for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you all guys get an A. <laughs> all right. Don't worry, you always get an A. That's a good student, right? Always get an A. Okay, let me have Josue and Monica. Josue, yes. you are going to be 
Megan. And uh, no, 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 Josue is Rick and Monica is Meg. Okay. So what did you last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That's on my phone. Did you go to Lavis? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Or Spanish test is today? I forgot, I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Applause for Jose and Monica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Um, do you have any questions uh, referring to this information? Stay. How do you pronounce stay? Stayed. Stayed. Stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, what I want you to do is you are going to uh, write a similar conversation over here. Van a escribir una conversación similar a esta acá. But instead of changing, por ejemplo, weekend, puede decir yesterday, ayer. En vez de decir eh, karaoke bar, puede decir the gym. O en vez de decir cantar, puede decir exercise. O en vez de decir eh, eh, studied, puede decir que fue de compras al super. I went shopping to the grocery store. O sea, la idea es eh, practicar el mismo patrono que vemos acá. Eh, pero eh, como adaptándolo a ti. For example, vamos a practicar. Let me have one volunteer. ¿Quién quiere ser mi volunteer? Mónica. Sí. Josué. Ok. <risa> Elegí a Mónica porque ella sonrió. So. Mónica, <risa> vamos, a, vamos a practicar usted y yo. Eh, ok. Hi, hi Mónica. How are you? Hi, teacher. It's good. Very eh, fine. Pregúnteme, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? What did you do yesterday, teacher? Um, yesterday I worked uh, online. I watched a movie on Netflix. I went to La Despensa de Don Juan. I bought coffee, cereal, and milk, and I slept like a baby. <laughs> and you? Oh, uh, I, I play softball yesterday. Mm -hmm. I play it, mm -hmm. softball yesterday. Mm -hmm. I play it with my dog. My little dog, uh -huh. his name is Nino. Uh -huh. And I run. Ran, ran. Ran, ran uh, with her. Yes. Perfect. With Perfect. him? No, no. Is Nino or Nino? Or Nino. Him. 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 Uh -huh. I run with him in. They are around the park. <laughs> awesome. That's a good thing. That's very good. Okay. All right, then. See you later, Monica. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. <laughs> All right. Do you understand the idea? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. We're going to we're going to follow uh, this.
pattern, but modify it. You're going to modify it according to you. Ready? Ready. Okay, we're going to work in pairs. Let's go. Hello, um, Griselda. Hello, Hector. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, very good, very good. Ready. And get out for... Error. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo los, eh, yo los saqué porque tengo que recrear los grupos porque entró gente nueva. Y si ya ah. tengo los grupos creados y tengo gente nueva, no la puedo incorporar. No sé por qué el sistema no me deja. So por eso ah, los, okay. voy a, los voy a volver a, a, a poner en grupos. Give me just Thank one you. minute. One minute. <laughs> Dijo usted, ¿qué hice? <laughs> Estamos esperando que vengan los demás. Uh, do you have any questions at this moment? Uh, no, teacher. No. All right. ¿Quién me puede explicar qué estamos haciendo? What are we doing? We are writing a conversation uh, for uh, with the structures of the lesson uh, 2.1 mm -hmm. uh, with the verbs uh, in the verse in pad, uh, did with the verb did, mm -hmm. so, did. Uh, so the uh, the example is what did you do yesterday or what did you do past Saturday? I think last Saturday. That's last Saturday. Sorry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and here we are gonna make did in pairs. Very good. E, uh, and where are you going to write it? A dónde lo van a escribir? In the platform. platform. Correct, platform. on the platform. So Enrique Andres is going to work with Josue. Griselda is going to work with Roxana. Mm -hmm. David yeah. is going to work with Monica. Dalia is going to work with Reina. Hector is going to work with Manuel. Okay. Any questions? No. no Let's sure. go.
did you do yesterday? Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, can you tell me what did you do yesterday? I am... I studied for the English class. For the English class? Uh -huh. Only that. And I take it off to my baby boy. And I take it? Take it off to my baby boy. Take her. Sorry. Teacher. Hey, big boy. Okay. And, and I think. Take... Take care of the spirit. Take care of. Pero con una S. Oh. Así. Mm -hmm. Take care of. Pero va separado, no se puede separar. I don't take know. Care. Take care of my baby boy. El tú hay que quitar entonces. I take care of my baby boy. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, I okay. Um, I don't know. So, can you uh, question me and, and you? And you? Uh, what did you do? Okay. And Rene. Uh, can you tell me what did you did you do yesterday? I went to the bank. I went to the bank. Okay. Mm, for for change a uh, uh, check. How would we describe for change? Uh, um, cobrar. El verbo cobrar, ¿verdad? For, sí, for change. Sería change, como cambiar change. Change. Eh, a check. A check. Ok. Ok. What did, what did you do? Ah, ok. Uh, uh, eh, we are going to put the two two how, how can I say? Eh, vamos a mezclar las dos experiencias, ¿ok? Ok, Entonces, ok. I went to the bank to change the chains, and then I, I went to the gym, to the gym, and uh, I think I can write like this, and I did exercise. Exercise for two hours. Yes, okay. 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 Uh, and I don't know. Um, how, can, how can I finish the, uh, the conversation? Um, sorry. Oh. Oh. Um, so, uh, sounds like a lot, lot of uh, work. Okay, no, I don't know if I can say that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. I think we can write a good conversation. I don't know. How do you think?
It's okay for you, the conversation? Yes, it's good. Okay. okay. I don't, uh, I don't, forgot. Yes. Uh -huh. I study for the English class and take care of my baby boy and with you too. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't worry, you always be the nine. Exercise. Exercise is in is correct. Exercise. Yes. Exercising, I think we talk. Okay, I send this, okay? I will send prayer. Ooh. Exercise is not good. Okay. okay. Uh, what is the, the problem? Exercise is mal escrito. Uh -huh, sí. ¿Cómo es? Exercite. E. Así, ¿verdad? Exercite. <coughs> like that. Hello. Exercise va con C. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exercise. Intercambiar la S por la C. Ah, ok. You can see. Ok, ahorita. Exercise. Ok. okay. Correcto, sí, ajá. Ok. Casi me había pasado un tiempo acostada. Ok. Ok. So, yeah. Okay. Teacher, we finish. Okay. When I share the screen, I have problems with my my internet. Like Floor, he writes in the group in the WhatsApp group, and I say he have problems too. I think the internet is a big problem in this country. Sorry, what happened on the audio times? Two person, no problem. I only have five, five megabytes of internet, and you? Uh, uh, it's same. The same? Okay, same, five, five megabytes. Okay, so pretty low. I don't have limit to my internet. Oh, why? 
because this connection is for my business. Oh, you don't have a, a, a residential a contract or residential. Yes, yes. Oh. I know people that have a connection with a, with satellite connection, and this person have problems with a raining or 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 a, the signal is is very. How can I say? Lower. Lower. It's very weak. It's very weak. The, the signal is very weak. And I they have a 10, 10 megabytes or five megabytes. And and then when they are use his internet, uh, they receive uh, only one or two megabytes for the the type of connection. What is the company of your cell phone? Uh, my cell phone is with Tigo. Tigo, oh. Tigo. And I Sometimes only have- in, in Claro, I actually 15 gigabytes for only internet. Okay. 15 gigabytes for $15 for 30 days, one month. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have two volunteers, please? Two volunteers that want to present the conversation. Two volunteers. Can I have two volunteers? The teacher. All right, Josue Avalos. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Josue. And who's your partner, Josue? Is Andres. Uh, Andres. Yes, I am. All right, Enrique Andres and Josue Avalos. Action. Okay. Hey, Josue, do you have the conversation? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, okay. Hello, how are you, Andres? It's fine, Josue. And you? What did you do yesterday? I'm sorry for my English class and I take it off to my baby boy all day. Oh, so cute. That's <laughs> good. That's it? No more? No, 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 no. I yeah. share my screen. I think Jose forgot some. Can you see? Yes, but we was. I started. Rene, Rene was in our room too. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> we have a two person in the group okay so uh, we we invite Renee but I I am Renee okay uh, answer me uh, question me no question me no ask, ask me ask, ask me ask me ask question, me question okay, me se usa okay. no no question me se puede usar Pero question me se usa como cuando digamos que hay algún crimen y la policía te entrevista. A ti, allí ya dices, okay. the police questioned me. Me cuestionaron. Right? That's different. That's like an investigation. Okay. In this case, it's not. It's only pregúntame. Ask me. Okay. So ask me. Okay. And... 
Okay. Uh, I went to the bank for change a check, and then I went to the gym and did exercise for two hours. Woo! Barbaro. Oh, that's a like a lot big, of work. Big muscles. Okay, and so that's it. <laughs> we are finished. Applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the participants. Good job. Okay. All right. Let me have another another participant, another volunteer. Marta. Who? Marta or Monica? Marta Mejia and Monica. Marta Mejia oh. and Monica. I don't know if it's the same group. I Hello. don't work with Marta. I work with <laughs> exactly David. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Monica. <laughs> David, you are here. <laughs> David. David. Hi, I, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, David. Uh, Ready? I'm here. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Action. Okay. Action. <laughs> Action. So, what did it what did it you do yesterday, David? Oh, I went to bought eggs and food for my pet. That sounds like fun. Did you go to supermarket? Oh, no, I didn't. I went to store near uh, of my house. And did you buy? Did you buy food? Yes, I do. I no, buy, yes, I buy, did. Yes, I did. I yes, I did. I buy it in the supermarket last Monday because I it's near in my house. I, I bought. Jenny, but. la vamos a poner en silencio porque se escucha interferencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. I bought. I bought in the supermarket last Monday because it's near in my house. It's near to my house. To my house. It's near to my house. To my house. Okay. David, do you have a supermarket near of your house? Yes, I have. Yes, <laughs> I do. Yes, oh. I do. Yes, I do. All right. Applause for the participants. Good job. Awesome. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Uh, I know that everybody... Uh, wants to participate and everybody wants to practice. However, we have to move forward. So for the next activity, we are going to be looking at in this lesson, in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught in esta clase. Se presentarán. Preguntas y respuestas en pasado. Verbos regulares e irregulares también se estudiarán. Listen, please. It's used in simple present because... In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. 
simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative, Okay, so here we're looking at the auxiliary. Uh, for example, um, René Cantaderio, did you eat pupusas yesterday? No se le escucha, Rene. No, I didn't, teacher. Ah, okay. No, I didn't yesterday. No, I didn't eat pupusas. Pupusas? Yesterday. Okay. Sorry. Or you can say, I ate. ¿Qué comió ayer en la cena? It, uh, eggs and beef. I ate eggs and beans. Perfect. Um, Monica, did you work yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I played I... video games, for example. <laughs> this is only an example. <laughs> Ok, so mm -hmm. aquí está la pregunta y la respuesta. Eh, teacher. Hi. En español, ¿cómo serían las preguntas? Eh, ¿Comiste pupusas ayer? No. Mm -hmm. Comí huevos y frijoles. Eh, trabaja mm -hmm. ¿Trabajaste ayer? No. Jugué videojuegos. So everything is in simple past. The main verb goes back to present. Okay. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past. Estas son las short answers. Si la pregunta empieza con did, usted va a responder para positivo, yes, I did. Negativo, no, I didn't. We must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past 
for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay. So, in this activity, van a escribir cinco preguntas en el pasado y su respuesta en el pasado. And you're going to write it in the discussion forum. Lo vamos a escribir in the discussion forum. In pairs. Any questions? Eh, solo una pregunta, teacher. ¿Quién importa el is o are? Uh, is eh, sería para third person singular. Y are sería para first person y plural. Y did? It did sería para todas las preguntas en pasado. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. Yes, of course. Ready? Let's go. Maritza Padilla. Maritza Padilla. You're going to go with Manuel and Roxana. Maritza. Maritza. Maritza, Padilla. Do you go? Ya no necesito que poner when. Did you go? Ah, okay. O sea, did you go? Y si no, I went. I went to the okay. movies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Con eso me quedó bastante claro. Did you go? Uh -huh. Did you go oh, eh, uh -huh. to the movie? Cinema? Did you go to, to, the, to the cinema? To the movie. Did you go to the cinema? Sí? Did you go to. Go to the cinema? Yesterday, sería. Yes. Yesterday. Uh -huh. yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, I did. No, I okay. didn't. I don't go <laughs> to the <laughs> cinema yesterday. <laughs> yes, I didn't. I did. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I, I did, did. Uh, to the cinema. Are you finished? Manuel, Roxana, are you finished? No, sir. Okay. No, estamos trabajando en eso todavía. Okay.
Hola Manuel, ya lo terminó. Lo practicamos. Sí, justo lo voy terminando. Le pregunto. Okay. Did you go to the movies last weekend? Como fue. Did you go to okay. the movies last weekend? Le escucho como con eco, no. Quiero entender algunas palabras por el eco. Quizás mis audífonos son un problema. Y, y a mí que no me escucho. Siempre con eco. O sea, ahorita le escucho como un poquito menos de eco. Me entiendo un poquito mejor. Did you uh -huh. know the movies last week? Uh, did you go or do you watch? Mm. Did you go to the movies? Si fue al cine. El fin pasado. No, I don't. All right. Is everybody finished? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let me have Evelyn Enrique and Marta Menjivar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marta. I would like to listen to your questions, please. And Evelyn Enriquez, respond. Okay. Did you eat? Uh, junk food the last weekend? He hello? He hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Repeat the question, Marta. Okay. Did you eat junk food the last weekend? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, eran cinco preguntas. Okay. Mm. Did you work uh, the last Saturday? No, I didn't. Did you watch a movie the last, sorry, did you watch movie yesterday? <laughs> no, I didn't, sorry. <laughs> okay. Did you study in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you go to the beach in the last vacation? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Yes, I did. But... Very good. Yes, I did. Excellent work. Okay, now guys, we are going to look at the next activity, which is using the simple past verbs. Regular and regular verbs will also be false. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. 
Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in Simple Past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay. Ed, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? No. Okay. Let's no, move you... forward and we're going to look at knowledge check. This is going to be your homework. Complete the co these conversations, questions, and answers must be in the simple past. This is for two. Well, you can continue today if you want to. Uh, remember, tomorrow we have class. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Thank you, teacher. Night, night. Thank you. Have a good Thursday. Because tomorrow <laughs> is Friday. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> Bye. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good night. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.